This video is about velocity versus time graphs. Velocity versus time graphs. Velocity is on the y-axis, measured in meters a second, while time is on the x-axis, measured in seconds. Velocity versus time graphs can be used to find velocities at a particular time and acceleration. Here's an example. Find the average acceleration from 4 to 9 seconds. You use the average acceleration equation, which is delta v over delta t, changing into final velocity minus initial velocity divided by final time minus initial time. This gives us 9 minus 4 for the time and 7 minus 6 for the velocity, as the points are 4, 6 and 9, 7. This leads us to 1 divided by 5, or an average acceleration of 0 0.2 meters per second squared. Another example would be to find the average acceleration from 4 to 6 seconds. We use the same equation, which leads us to 4 minus 2 for the time and 6 minus 3 for the velocity, as the points are 2, 3 and 4, 6. This gives us 3 divided by 2, or an average acceleration of 15 meters per second squared. Now, for instantaneous velocity, again we have a graph with velocity on the y-axis and time on the x-axis. In order to find instantaneous velocity, you need to create a tangent line. Then you have to pick two points on that tangent line and plug them in to the average acceleration equation. An example is find the instantaneous velocity at 4 seconds. After we created our tangent line, you, we picked the points 5, 5.5 and 3, 2.5. After you plug that into the equation, you have 5 minus 3 for the time and 5.5 minus 2.5 for the velocity. This comes out as 3 divided by 2, which in turn leads to an instantaneous velocity of 1.5 meters squared.